<laughs> yeah, who the devil are you? Whoa. Okay. So for those of, you, those of you who watched my last video, don't worry, I've got a new lav mic. It's all sorted, all fixed. If you don't know, go and watch my last video. <laughs> okay, right. A few months ago, I bought a Sony um, Ultra HD Blu-ray player, new BP X700. And one of the many reasons I bought it, I love the Blu-ray, I love the player, mine's fantastic. But one of the reasons I bought it is because it can play SACD, Super Audio CD. And back then I didn't have an SACD, but I do now. <laughs> Ta-da! So I've got a CD and an SACD. So it makes you wonder, you know, if SAD, SACD is so good, what happened to them? Well, I'll tell you what, we need to go way back to 1999. <laughs> now, back in 1999, um, SACD came out. It was a joint venture between Sony and Philips. And it was supposed to be the next big thing. So CD had taken over tape sales and album sales. Um, and they wanted to introduce a new format, which was going to be even better. And this was SACD. Now, SACD was quite well received at the time. It was said to have a warmer sound, less digital sounding, more sort of vinyl sounding, but really clear and really detailed. So it got some good reviews. So what happened to it? Well, I'll tell you what happened to it. Steve Jobs, you, why are you little? <laughs> so the iPod came along, an MP3. And even though MP3 was out before that, it was the iPod that really launched the format. And it's, it's bizarre, really, because MP3 was nowhere near the quality of, of an SACD. But I think it was just the convenience of it, how many songs you could put on an iPod. And then the iTunes came out, and then SACD just went... Bye, 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 SACD, bye. So that was the end of it, really. Um, you can still get SACD. I mean, I've, I've bought this on eBay, I got that, and it's not that expensive. I think I paid 12 quid for it. Um, so it's not too bad at all. Uh, but what I wanna know is, is one, does it sound better than a CD? Is it really that much better? And two, is my receiver capable of playing it? because a lot of receivers aren't. So, let's find out. Okay, so I've got a CD playing, and as you can see, it says here, stereo 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bit CD, fine. Let's check out the signal info of my receiver. And as you can see here, signal info. There we are, it's coming through the format, it's PCM, uh, two channel, and sampling uh, is 44.1 kilohertz. So that's all cool. Now let's lob in an SACD and see what we're getting. Right, I've got the SACD in, and as you can see, the player's capable of playing it. The information is coming up here. DSD multi 2.8 megahertz. So that's like huge, okay? A lot bigger than a CD, all right? Uh, but is my receiver playing it through DSD? Let's have a look the signal info and it isn't boo <laughs> so you can see the format is pcm and not dsd however i am getting uh five channels three two uh 5.1 channel three two and one there so that's good at least i'm getting the 5.1 surround and it a sampling is coming through better so not rather than 44.1 i'm getting 176.4 kilohertz which is four times as much so I am getting a better signal coming out of my speakers through the, through the receiver, but my receiver cannot play it. So here's the question. Is it worth getting for me as my receiver can't play it and does it sound better? Well, I'm going to say, hell yeah. <laughs> because I thought the, even though I'm not getting it coming through in DSD, I still think that the Super Audio C CD sounds better. Um, it sounds, it does sound warmer. The bass was a little bit better. And you know, with a CD, sometimes it can sound a little tinny and digital at the top end. It's a bit, you get, you don't get that on on, a, on this, on a SACD. It does sound more like a, you're playing a vinyl um, album rather than a, a CD. Uh, it's a warmer sound and I just found it much more immersive, a lot better on the ears. Uh, so yes, it does sound better. Unfortunately, I can't give you a demo in this video. However, 
<laughs> okay. What I'm going to do is do a comparison of the C. I'll do the whole song of the first track on the album, You're So Far Away. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll do a 15 seconds of each bit. I'll play the whole song going through CD and SACD all the way through. And I'll put a link to that in the description box and up here uh, for those of you who can get this link here. And then you can go to that then and have a listen because obviously he's going to get a copyright warning or something. It might not even be played, but we'll see, okay? But I can't do it on this video, otherwise it'll just be demonetized and I may get a copyright strike, so I don't want to do that. So I'll do a separate video and see what happens. <laughs> okay, anyway, so that's it for today. Do I think SACD is worth getting? Yes, I do. I think it's much, I think it's a lot better than CD quality, much better, much warmer, and there you go. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.